Hi everyone, I'm Autistic Ange. This is a podcast for adults who recently found out they're autistic and are looking for other autistic people like them. So let's talk about autism and masking. Masking is when autistic people pretend to be whatever ordinary people need them to be. Um, masking typically starts in childhood as do most things and uh, we only get better at it as time goes on so for me I was constantly being told by my mother to stop crying you know stop doing this stop doing that sit still don't raise your voice Um, you know so I said still I talk calmly numb out so I don't cry I mean like having to learn how to numb out numb out as a kid that's not normal. Like, it's not normal to do it, period. But, you know, especially as a kid, I think. Um, and then on to junior high, where I spent those two years in Catholic school, where I guess I had to pretend to be Catholic because I wasn't. Um, this was in Hawaii. My father got stationed in Hawaii for a few years, and the public schools in the area we lived in were just shit. Um, like kids brought guns to school, beat the shit out of everybody every day. I, it wasn't safe. So I got sent to a private Catholic school because it would be safer. Um, I did not consider myself a Catholic. We never went to church or did Bible study or stuff like that. So I figured out real quick that you never tell anyone at that school that you are not Catholic. Like, I was so naive at first. There was a science class, um, <laughs> which is kind of funny looking back, science and religion. But anyways, there was a science class, but they were talking about the religion, and I could not understand in my child mind how those two were related. So I remember asking the teacher to uh, explain to me with facts how God is real. Do you have proof? Like, can you tell me more? And I got sent to detention for the rest of the day just for asking a question, or that question, I guess. Uh, so after that, I kept to myself, stopped asking questions, and tried to blend in. You know, it's just like little moments like this throughout my life. Um, you know, the fucked up part of masking is I've always stayed away from fake people because no, no thank you, I don't want to be around somebody fake. And then when I found out I'm autistic, I felt like a huge fake once I learned what masking is. And I couldn't reconcile that I was living my life pretty much according to everybody else's standards. Also, there was a period of about two weeks where my mind was like, it was really going bonkers because I couldn't figure out what parts of me were real and what parts were just the mask. I literally was not okay with this realization and the aftermath of not knowing if, like, I'm a real boy. Like, you know, Pinocchio. Uh, you know, like, like, and it was just like a back and forth, like, you know, is this real? Is this real? Is this real? Um, so, you know, it's strange to think back to how I did have an awareness that people had thought I was weird in the past, but... Did I know I was hiding myself? Like, I knew I was, but, like, did I know? Did I understand that, like, I was living a lie just to please other people? So, yeah. Um, feeling like my existence is this huge problem for every human I encounter. Uh, it's great. I've been told I have, uh, quote, big feelings. Like, who the fuck even says that? robots say that robots that's who i mean like when, whenever uh someone said the same thing to me enough times or you know several people tell me i'm weird when i do x y or z i would shove down whatever it was others did not like or, or approve of so i stifled my big feelings as much as i could um so i had been told uh i talked too loud so i would speak quietly or I talked too fast. So I made sure that when I did talk, I didn't say too much. I was told I, I cried too much. So I tried to numb out. So I didn't feel sad or, or really anything. Uh, you know, like, 
I'm not exaggerating when I say that it's like every piece of who I am, my thoughts, my feelings, experiences, perspectives have been labeled as wrong. Uh, so the more I'm asked and hit the parts of myself others didn't like, the more like disassociated I was at some of my worst times. Like, you know, did anyone, did, um, like, did anyone like anything about me? That's what I used to think a lot. Am I defective? Um, as the years went on, I became like this hardened shell. Uh, I did not share shit about myself because that was always thrown back in my face or spread like gossip. Um, I had very limited facial expressions. Uh, I did not talk to most people. I did not have real friends. Like, you know, people I actually gave a shit about and who gave a shit about me. Um, I just turned into, like, the weird girl that always scowls in the corner. I wasn't in the corner, but, you know. Um, so it was, like, always losing. Um, I hid what people did not want to see. And then... I became this strange version of myself. Uh, people did not want to see that either. And so I was left feeling like a garbage human. Uh, when people have asked where I'm from or where I was born, I, <laughs> I tell them I'm a test tube baby. It was like, I, I did not even feel like a human sometimes, if that makes sense. Like, you keep being told you're wrong no matter what you do. You start to believe you're wrong and question why you even exist. So it's just easier joking around and telling people, I was a test tube baby. Uh, yeah, so if anybody out there was a test tube baby, you know, just kidding. Um, again, though, everything comes back to being grateful that I'm autistic and that I learned this about myself before I left this planet. Now, like I've shed a lot of my mask, which if I'm honest, it was like a full on Halloween costume because no one was going to find out who I really am. Um, and it's just, it's so freeing. Like, I I was worried at first, like, I'd be viewed as wanting to be somebody different or that I was not being real the whole time. Somebody knew me because now they see this version and they're like, what the fuck? Mom, I gotta get some water. You know, this whole dry mouth thing doesn't make sense to me because, like, I drink water all fucking day. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is all the shit I've been hiding. I started talking, um, like how I talk now, not, not how others want me to. I don't do anything I don't want to do anymore unless I kind of have to because it falls into the category of adulting. Um, I'm, I'm now slowly revealing who I really am to my wife because I hid tons of shit from her. Nothing illegal or immoral. Um, just shit I've been told is weird or not normal. Um, you know, so far she seems to be taking everything in stride, so that's good, but it's kind of weird. Like, you think you know who you're marrying. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, um, uh-oh, is this who she really wanted to marry? But I don't know. Um, however, though, I still mask in some situations, like at a store, which like these days, that's where most of my interactions take place <laughs> when the cashier's scanning my items and wants to say something more to me than how are you? Like the look at a brand of tooth toothbrushes I bought, which this actually happened the other day. And the lady was like, oh my God, I use that exact same toothbrush. How long have you been using it for? Like what? What the... What the fuck? Like, what I really want to say is, please stop talking to me. Just continue scanning my items. Wait for me to pay. Give me my receipt and my shit and I'll be on my way. But like ordinary people view that as rude, I guess. So like I play around and oh, ha ha ha. That's so cool that you have the same toothbrush. Like, no, it's not. That's such a stupid fucking thing to talk about. Um, Yeah. So anyways. That's all I got for now. This was me recording into an app on my phone, hoping people find me and listen and relate. Um, 
and maybe have a similar experience to what I had when I heard myself on somebody else's podcast for the first time. Thank you for listening. Um, Okay, bye.